what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology once again and today is the most awaited video of the season yes 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 oh my god so many requests not on astrology not on spirituality not on the Gita but since I uploaded that video on cortisol about my uh, weight loss journey which is still continuing it's not yet finished but I said in that video I'll be making another video the next video on that series will be on insulin and symptoms of insulin resistance so this video is on symptoms of insulin resistance so I have noted down around 20 symptoms and uh, by this you will understand if you have insulin resistance all right so if you're new to the channel and still 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 you have not subscribed then after watching this video if you understand that you have insulin resistance then probably you should subscribe <laughs> and yes if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is asking you or is searching if they have the problem of insulin resistance all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will probably no 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 he will surely help you reduce the problem of insulin resistance all right and if you want a consultation from me then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below all right so now before i speak on the symptoms 20 symptoms i want to give some disclaimers here all right because when i made that video on cortisol there were so many people who told me not so many i guess a few they said me that oh you don't have a degree in medical science you are not a doctor how dare you speak on medical science yes who the hell do you think yourself that you are speaking on topics like cortisol or on insulin how dare you speak on all this we are not obliged to hear from you well that's very true <laughs> if you think that you do not need to watch this video you need to go and watch some other health expert yes in youtube then you are free to do so yes i am not forcing you or i am not marketing or uh, projecting myself as a health expert but what i'm saying is these things are also related with spirituality yes so i will tell uh, how that is related at the end but for uh, knowing that we first have to know uh, if we have insulin resistance yes because otherwise we will uh, not be understanding why to work on this problem at all so first we have to realize that we have this or we don't all right so again i'm giving the disclaimer that i'm not a doctor i do not have any degree or any certificate in medical science but since last one year whatever uh, weight loss i have done and some health improvements major health improvements so i have gathered this knowledge through my own uh, research and through my own experience and then talking to many other doctors and professionals in this field and then by seeing so many other people by meeting so many other people so if you feel that you can be benefited from my experience then please watch this video or else if you want certifications then please walk away from this video because i am not going to give any reference of any uh, subtle course which i have done in udemy or coursera.org all right so this is not a very professional video all right so if you still decide to watch this then let me tell you first what insulin is insulin is a hormone which is produced by the pancreas yes 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 that organ produces insulin so that it can regulate the blood sugars so there are so many things which are to be said in this but i will not go into those details because those are unnecessary uh, medical information which we don't need we just need to know if we have insulin resistance or not yes and now what is insulin resistance insulin resistance is basically the situation where there uh, there are there can be many uh, kinds of insulin resistances but primarily what uh, is understood when they say insulin resistance is that your body is producing too much insulin yes which actually means that your the cells of your body have become very desensitized yes they have become very dysfunctional which means even though there is insulin but the body thinks there's no insulin yes so this is like suppose there's a person who is coming near you and the person is shouting yes the person talks to you then you listen first but suppose the person is shouting then what do you do you close your ears right then the person is shouting more and then you press it ah that's the situation that there's so much insulin in the body 
that now what's happening the cells they are signaling the pancreas that oh there's no insulin which means the pancreas is thinking oh there's no insulin so i need to pump more insulin and why this is very important for weight loss is because in the presence of excessive insulin you cannot lose weight should i repeat in the presence of excessive insulin you cannot reduce weight that is why it is very 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 difficult for a person who is diabetic to lose weight yes to lose fat or whatever you call it so insulin apart from cortisol is another hormone which we must regulate otherwise that will create havoc all right so now here are uh, some of the 20 symptoms that i will list in this video which can tell us that we might have insulin resistance yeah and now before i say of these 20 symptoms the another thing i would say is it may happen that none of these symptoms are there in you yes but you still may have insulin resistance or it can happen that you have all of these symptoms to some degree and you may have some level of insulin resistance but that's not that uh, a big problem but if you feel that most of the symptoms are there in you and it is there to a considerable amount of time that uh, when i tell you will understand then it is important that you go and visit an astrologer and get a reading yes no no no, no. <laughs> don't go to astrologers go to a doctor and do your checkup and follow whatever they are saying yes or you might also go to astrologers but you make sure you go to a doctor the other day somebody was asking if we have a health problem should we go to an astrologer or to a doctor i mean that question was so stupid yes because if you have a health problem why do you go to an astrology you should first go to a doctor yes otherwise for every other problem you will be calling up your family astrologer pandit ji ye ho gaya this happened that happened that's not good all right so let's begin and uh, i'll be keep, i'll be laughing throughout this video because there are so many of these which um, are uh, there in me also because i'm still overweight by around 15 20 kilos so if you feel that these are there then please go and check uh, a doctor okay all right so what's the first symptom the first symptom is you feel sleepy after you eat something oh my goodness this is classic i'm seeing have you seen those people who say oh i have i have eaten now i'm feeling sleepy if you feel that you need a nap after you eat then bang on red lights paw 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 <laughs> it's like total red light zone because then what's happening is your body there, there is too much insulin in the body yes and because of that you are feeling so sleepy yes I can go into the details of why this happens but I don't want to go for every other reason which I give in this video because then that will become a very long video. Basically what's happening is when you are eating something then whenever you eat something the body produces insulin. Yes because it has to regulate the blood sugar because when you eat something you are uh, taking a lot of sugar. Sugar doesn't mean only that white thing but even carbohydrates and everything whatever you eat gets converted to sugar. I mean whatever doesn't mean anything but most of the things that you eat so uh, if there is very high level of sugar or sugar content in your blood or in the food which you are eating then too much insulin has been produced yes and then a lot of energy goes in that and that's a very detailed process which i will not explain here but if you feel sleepy after eating bang on that's the first symptom that you have insulin resistance all right what is the next symptom you never feel full even after eating till the end so this means if you keep if you feel that oh i have eaten this much but still that last bit is not there that's why i am not satisfied then you have insulin resistance because what is happening is you are eating and eating and eating but uh, the sugar is not getting extracted from the food yes because of which the body thinks that oh i am still hungry yes and when the sugar is not coming out from the food because the insulin is not able to work properly yes again there are a lot of things which are to be said in this also which i will not say but if you feel that even after you eat what others have eaten you feel that oh this was not enough for me 
now it can happen that somebody eats some amount and somebody needs some more amount depending on the structure and the composition of the body but it should not happen that you are flying in an airplane and everybody has taken uh, the meal which the air hostess has given you and then you are like oh i need one full plate and truckload of meal yes so if that is happening then probably you have insulin resistance in your body all right what's the next thing now oh, this is very famous <laughs> you crave for slight amount of sugar even after a large meal see what happens why this happens is because when you eat some sugar some sweet thing at the end then tremendous high insulin will be produced yes and then the insulin gets into the cells which means without eating sugar you don't feel that i have eaten something yes so if after every meal you feel that oh i need some candy some chocolate some chewing gum something sweet should be there foods with very high glycemic index which convert to sugar very fast if you feel that you need something of that sort after every meal then you may have insulin resistance all right so sometimes it happens that we eat a 10 course meal and then at the end when in the hotel they will give the bill then we will ask for uh, that what you say that in asmis they call it sop i don't know that sweet thing which you put in your mouth which they give with the bill so if you are craving for that then bang on you may have insulin resistance what's the next symptom the next symptom is your work productivity is low yes you are working 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 but you feel that oh it's still not getting done <laughs> that's not due to some technical problem but you are not focused in your job yes because your body is not functioning properly that's a very big symptom of insulin resistance that you cannot get things done which others can get done yes now that can be due to many reasons but if the other symptoms are there and along with that this symptom is also there then probably you might have insulin resistance yes because your body is not functioning in a good state then your overall cognitive ability your ability to grasp and understand and analyze things also deteriorates so if that is the case then probably you have ir <laughs> ir for insulin resistance what is the next symptom the fifth you take the lift instead of the stairs yes so if you have a chance that i can take the lift or should i walk three floors now that doesn't mean when you have to go 20 floors you still take the uh, stairs but suppose you need to go one floor or two floor or three floor up to three or four it's okay i think but you prefer to take the lift always you want that your body is not in that uh, difficult mode yes difficult mode means you don't want to do hard work yes you always take the easy out, way out then you have ir because your body is not functioning in a proper state what's the next thing you are addicted to desserts cakes pastries pancakes chocolates and sweets because then what happens when there's normal amount of insulin in your body but then then that's fine but if there is insulin resistance which means your body feels i need more insulin because the body body thinks because the cells think that there is no insulin then your body craves for sugar because when you eat sugary products which have very high glycemic index then what happens is that will immediately spike the blood sugar and then your pancreas will produce truck loads of more insulin and then the body feels ah i have eaten something so tip if you feel that you have addictions to sweets especially ladies to chocolates well 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 then there is ir <laughs> what's the next symptom you have belly fat all right belly fat if you have the fat in the gut as in hindi they say pet nikal gaya hai aapka <laughs> kisi ka bhi pet nikla hua hai to ho sakta hai use ir hai maybe the person who has belly fat because that's the area where the f- where the fat uh, gets the sugar gets converted into fat and it gets stored there that's the area so you may have fats in other areas also but if you have fat in the gut in the belly belly area then you have insulin resistance by default okay next symptom you don't feel full 
you don't feel full without eating carbohydrates the earlier one was about sugar now this is about carbohydrates because carbohydrates also spike insulin very high yes so that means in india especially we'll see people will tell you if they don't take rice or chapati yes then they don't then they say oh i felt as if i did not take lunch yes which means if you give them truckloads of vegetables and some fat yes then they will say that oh i feel i have not taken lunch why because there was no rice or chapati yes roti paratha puri batura whatever you call it so if you feel that without carbohydrates you are not full then you have insulin resistance because then what happens your body is not secreting insulin properly which means that when you eat carbohydrates tremendous insulin is secreted then the body feels oh now i am satisfied because now the insulin is working what is the next symptom you can't lose weight easily because insulin will block all the weight loss because what happens is when there's too much insulin the body is on a survival mode the body works on the glycogen reserves instead of working on the stored sugar which is there so then what happens you will try to fast or i will come to fasting later uh, suppose um, you are trying to lose weight but then what what's happening is the body feels oh no 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 i should not lose weight let me store whatever is there in the body yes all the fat reserves that's there so this is like the situation of a person who is a millionaire but the person doesn't uh, remember that he or she has a million dollars in the account then what happens is you keep that money as it is yes which means you have a lot of fat which is stored in your body which you can use but the person has forgotten that there is this account and then you keep begging to people oh please give me 10 dollars please give me 100 dollars yes so which means that your body goes on a survival mode you are going to the gym you are doing this you are doing that all the weight loss programs you are doing but you can't lose weight then hold on sir there is insulin resistance probably the next the 10th you can't build muscles easily now this is related to testosterone but this is also linked with insulin yes so uh, if you have this problem that you cannot build muscles when you are going to the gym or you are doing yoga or w- whatever practice you are doing yes that doesn't mean uh, today you go to the gym and tomorrow you'll get muscles but if you see everybody is getting muscles and you are pro- properly following the training yes then also you are not getting muscles then there's a problem of testosterone yes which is also linked with insulin about which i will not explain now because then it will take a long time but if you feel that you are not able to gain muscles then you have insulin resistance all right so what's the next symptom you don't get sleep early or easily you keep hovering around till the night because see this is linked what's happening is you are not eating vegetables green vegetables cruciferous vegetables because when you are not eating them your body is not getting proper potassium magnesium these two ions which are very much essential for regulating insulin and then what happens potassium and magnesium yes especially magnesium they calm you down yes so when you don't have magnesium in your body you can't get sleep you try to go to sleep have you seen people they don't eat vegetables especially in india people i have seen i don't know about other countries in fact when i go to uh the canteen in germany i see that people take a lot of vegetables but in india unfortunately i have seen they will take truck loads of carbohydrates but they will not take much vegetables yes or they will take more meat because of that they suffer from insulin resistance whoever is doing this so then you don't get potassium which regulates insulin potassium makes the body the cells more insulin sensitive so even if there is less insulin the body feels that there's a lot of insulin which is the opposite of insulin resistance yes so potassium is very important to negate insulin resistance which comes from green vegetables cruciferous vegetables all right but if you are not eating them vegetables then you are not getting magnesium also which means your body can't calm down you can't sleep yes so those sim- symptoms will come 
What is the next symptom? You always feel like eating or munching something even without hunger. Bang, 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 bang on. If you always feel that I need to keep eating something, na? as in Hindi they say, Mu mein kuch hona chahi bas. <laughs> Either it's some chocolate or some candy or something because what's happening is the moment you are eating something, yes, especially which has sugar, then your body is spiking insulin up. Then the cells feel, oh, we have a lot of insulin now. We are happy. But without that, the body will not spike insulin if you don't eat something sweet or you don't eat anything at all. Then your body feels, oh, I don't have insulin, even when there is so much insulin. So there's high requirement of insulin. Yes. So and that will only happen when you eat something. When you keep eating something, your body will be spiking insulin all the time. Yes. Especially if you are eating carbohydrates. So that means you will always feel that I need to eat something even when I am not hungry. Now I am not hungry. Still, man, I need something. <laughs> so does it sound like somebody? <laughs> What's the next symptom? You are unhappy inside. That also happens because, uh, see, this is very much linked with spirituality. Yes, because the uh, planet Venus, of course, I will not go into astrology or spirituality now, but as I said, you are not functioning in your right state. So, your work productivity will be less, your moodiness will be very high and all these negative symptoms, weakness and all these things will be there in your body. So, one of these symptoms is you are unhappy inside for no reason. Yes. So, this is big actually because when a person is very unhappy, the person will be eating a lot of sweets. You go and check anybody, I am saying blindly. If the person is eating too many sweets, because as they say, na, that saying goes, I... Uh, what was that saying? I ate too much because I was depressed because I ate, ate too much. <laughs> so it means that if you are eating, uh, if you are eating too much because you are unhappy inside, then that is one of the symptoms that you are having insulin resistance, of course. The next symptom is you are always thirsty and resulting in frequent urination because your body is flushing out the excess sugar all the time. Yes. So your body is pumping out a lot of urine outside. And then you want to drink, 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 drink and drink water. All day, night, you are drinking water. Yes. And that's resulting in frequent urination. Urination in the night, that is one of the symptoms. So all this come under this. You cannot fast. This is the 15th symptom. You cannot do breath. Yes. Fasting. Because what happens? When you are fasting, your active glycogen reserves are depleted. And then... You feel very heavy, your brain, there's brain fog, you start getting headaches, you start feeling dizzy, you start becoming unconscious, yes, because your body doesn't want to use the existing fat reserves which are there in the body because it is in an emergency mode. So it uses up the glycogen reserves which is there in the blood, which drops the blood sugar very much. And then you're like, oh, there's no blood sugar, there's no sugar in the blood, so I can't walk now. So diabetic people if they try to fast they have the time of their life <laughs> all right so that's because they are using the glycogen reserves in the blood which is there and they are unaware the body is unaware that i can also use these stored fats in the uh, which are there because if i'm not eating then i can always use these fats but the body will not do that yes because there's insulin resistance which will block all the fat burning and 16th is you don't like to eat vegetables because this is counterproductive because if you are eating vegetables you cannot have insulin resistance yes i mean provided you are not eating truckloads of sugar along with vegetables yes so in general if your diet is good you are eating lots of vegetables generally they say that you need around five to seven cups of vegetables every day yes cruciferous vegetables so if you are not doing that then you will have insulin resistance so which means if you are not eating vegetables you are automatically having insulin resistance yes so there are many people i know who don't eat vegetables so that's the classic symptom probably the best symptom that you have a lot of insulin resistance okay the next symptom is you like fast food instead of freshly cooked food because what happens fast food especially uh, food in Chinese restaurants. Yes, they have this MSG. Then there's a lot of sugar. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff which is put in the fast food. 
to make it more tastier because they put a lot of sugar and a lot of other artificial things yes so then that spikes insulin very much and then your body feels oh now i have a lot of insulin which means your body has become desensitized to insulin so if you take normal food you don't like you will want to take fast foods yes so basically if you are given two options that you will have a burger or a freshly cooked food in the home and you decide to take the burger from mcdonald's or from somewhere then bang on you might have insulin resistance all right what's the 18th symptom you are extremely moody this is linked with estrogen especially especially in women and also in men these days <laughs> men becoming uh, becoming and behaving like uh, women like girls so but this will be more prominent in women you will see them they're extremely moody some something something happened and suddenly because without any reason they're like oh i don't like anything the world is very bad <laughs> I mean, what happened? Two more, two minutes back, you were very happy. You were dancing, jumping, laughing, giggling, frolicking. <laughs> Suddenly, your mood went down. Yes, that is because of the high estrogen which is there in the body. But that is also linked with insulin. Insulin is linked with so many things, with testosterone, muscle building, moodiness. Yes, all of these things are there. The 19th symptom is you feel very weak and lethargic throughout the day without any war yes this is another classic symptom if you feel that you you are always weak you are like lying down always have you seen people sometimes they'll be uh, if you see them they are uh, standing in a queue but they'll be leaning like this leaning to the wall so that that shows that they are not very healthy which means they are having difficulty maintaining their posture Yes, or sometimes when people will stand like this, they will put one leg like this so that the entire pressure is there on that leg. Yes, or you're lethargic basically. You don't want to work out. You don't feel like doing physical activity. You like sedentary lifestyle. Just sit in a, a, a PC or just keep watching movies. So if that is the case, then you might have insulin resistance because your body is not functioning properly. All right, and the last symptom is you look older than your age yes 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 you are of 20 25 and people may say oh you look as if you are in your 30s you are in your 40s yes now there can be many other reasons for that but if all the other symptoms are there and then this is also there then probably there is ir in your body because um, when insulin is not properly regulated then there's a process called autophagy which is there in the body where, by which the body recycles the dead things in your skin and in other areas of your uh, body organs which cannot happen if there is insulin resistance so autophagy is not possible so when insulin resistance is checked then autophagy also happens i'll make more videos on autophagy later all right so that is it from my side these are 20 symptoms of insulin resistance and as i said I will be making more videos on this yeah and uh, the last thing which i wanted to say is basically when you are happy inside yes with your spiritual practices then it becomes very ins uh, easy to check insulin resistance all right so go and meet holy people in the weekends go to satsang programs go to lectures where there is a discussion on spirituality going on yes and chant your mantras have a good lifestyle of course this video is not on how to regulate insulin etc that i will make in another video so you have to wait for that all right so that's it from my side if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please 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 subscribe to it <laughs> and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website and that is it from my side god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you cure insulin all right insulin resistance sorry <laughs> don't cure off insulin otherwise you'll die <laughs> okay bye bye see you Thank <laughs> you.